Understanding Loose Lipped, a guide to idiomatic English. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms. Our focus is on the phrase, loose lipped. This term is widely used in English conversations and media, but what does it really mean? Let's unravel its meaning and usage together. Loose lipped refers to someone who is not careful or discreet in speaking. It's often used to describe a person who shares secrets or speaks without considering the consequences. The idiom stems from the visual imagery of someone's lips being loose or not tightly controlled, leading to unintended revelations. It's a vivid way to describe a lack of restraint in communication. The phrase loose-lipped has its roots in nautical terminology. Historically, it was used to describe sailors who spoke freely about sensitive information, potentially jeopardizing ship operations. Over time, the term evolved to be applied more broadly, encapsulating any situation where indiscreet talk could lead to trouble. To grasp the idiom better, let's look at some examples. 1. He's too loose-lipped to be trusted with confidential information. 2. During the meeting, her loose-lipped comment about the company's finances caused a stir. 3. Be wary of sharing secrets with Jenny. She's known to be loose-lipped. In each of these scenarios, being loose-lipped leads to potential problems or misunderstandings. Understanding synonyms and antonyms can broaden your understanding. Synonyms. Talkative. Indiscreet. Blabbermouth. Antonyms. Tight-lipped. Discreet. Reticent. These words can be used interchangeably depending on the context. Be cautious using loose-lipped in formal contexts. It might come off as casual or colloquial. It's often used in a negative or cautionary context, so pair it with appropriate situations. Understanding the tone and context is key when using or interpreting this phrase. We hope this video has illuminated the meaning and usage of loose-lipped for you. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about conveying ideas and emotions effectively. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to explore more fascinating idioms in the English language. Until next time, happy learning!